Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of In-Depth Music Review from a Professional Musician. I am your boy, Papa Fluff, and today with me is my roommate, special guest, whatever fellow music enthusiast, Agog. Yes, thank you for letting me be a part of this review, Terry. I'm hoping I'll get the chance to speak my mind on this masterful album. So today, we'll be looking at this iconic album, Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. It is truly a special album. So back in 1978 when this album first came out, it was really regarded as like one of the best Christian metal albums out there. Like every song on it and its lyrics really just taught children the value of like the wonderful world of Jesus. You know, we'll start off with what I, I would consider to be like the weakest song on the album. That would be the album's title track, Stairway to Heaven. Check it out. So when this song came out, it was one of the, like, the really first songs to talk about, you know, living the rock and roll lifestyle, like, you know, the, the drugs, the partying, just like having a good time. It was really just about, you know, being wild and encouraging children to do the same thing. I do not like this song. I really think it shows how bad this song is when guitar stores do not allow you to play it in the store. No, dude, that's just because, like, the song's so iconic that, like, kids play it all the time. It's, like, one of the first songs that people ever actually learn how to play on guitar, so just all the employees of these guitar stores are just sick of hearing it so much. Well, that's, like, your opinion, man. Sing with me! There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. When she gets there, she knows if the stores are all closed. With a word she can get what she came for. Oh, 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 and she's buying a stairway to heaven. And the first song that we want to talk about is going to California. I fucking hate this song, you talk about it. This is my favorite off of this album. It's really cool. That is all I have to say. It's better than Ed Sheeran. Mind you, the bar is pretty low. I guess to give it some credit though, like it is better than some of the mumble rap that you hear out these days. But with that being said, it's time to wrap up this review. <laughs> now with that being said, I just want to talk about the best song on this album in my personal opinion because it's the highlight and it's the coolest song, the way the instruments are played and everything about it is so good and it's the coolest best song on the album and that song is called Rock and Roll. Ten. I figured you'd say something like that. It really goes to show how much you really know about music. Um, since you're my guest, I think you should be treating me a little bit nicer. Why? You treat me like garbage every single day. What are you talking about? You're getting pretty defensive. That is the sign to me that you know I am right. Hey man, how would you get off my goddamn back? Fine. This whole thing is stupid anyways. You're a joke. 95% of your channel is not even your own original content. It's not hard to do the things that you do when you were once a Let's Play channel. You don't know what you're talking about musically in your theory lessons, <laughs> thus proving to me that you have a very small well of knowledge in the art form known as music, and you hardly ever pay for your half of the rent. I really hope that you understand how big of a burden it is on me trying to get you to understand that you just weren't meant to be in the field of entertainment for a living. <laughs> Everybody thinks so, but they just never say it to your face. You lame, buttermilk, nerdy Kurt Cobain looking shell of a man. Ouch. Anyways guys, that'll conclude this episode of In-Depth Music Review from Professional Musician. So if there's any other albums out there that you want me to review, let me know down in the comments. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe bell button because man, you all know you want to join the hashtag Puff Nation. I'm never saying that again. I hope you enjoyed this guys. I'll see you in next... Uh, fuck it.